Hi, I'm Merrick Dometto. And I'm Classic Gamer. And welcome back to Normal and Classics Post Play Podcast. This is part two of the Spider Man trilogy. Yes, well, Spider-Man, not the movie trilogy. The, the movie trilogy and uh, part two of a continuous uh, podcast series for Spider Man going in my playlist on my channel because we are now decided this is an exclusivity to my channel at the moment yep. to help grow me a little bit more. Um, and today's choice is Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, 2 Enter, Enter Electro. Electro. This is a direct sequel to the first Spider-Man game we did last week. Yep. And it's uh, pretty much the same game. But it has a few um, ga- a few slight gameplay alterations. Uh, mainly is something that actually they brought back for the the PS4 Spider-Man game a few years ago. Is the custom uh, making co- uh, costumes with custom powers? Yep. And th- that came from this originally. I know there was but, custom. I didn't know that, but that's interesting. But um... this is the first one to do that. Uh, so you could like you could because like last game for example you had the black suit and its its special ability was uh, infinite webbing. This yep. time you could take like the bagman suit and give it infinite webbing, for example, <laughs> if you were so inclined. Yeah, you. I think you were customizable on PS4 yep. Spider Man, weren't you? Yeah, you were that. You were able to do that, and you're able to do that in this too. That is, I didn't know you could do that in this. Yep, I never knew that. Well, we we all learn something new every day. So, um, indeed, I'd say this also has a few quality of life changes, maybe to a little bit to Spider-Man's combat with his um kicks instead of that uh kick kicking the back kick because he does when he stands mm. on his hands. It's more like a spinning kick. Yeah. Um, you can go on the on the city streets now. You can go on the ground. You can go on the ground. The yes, poison smoke is gone. Well, the poison smoke was there because they they didn't have the uh, ability to do uh, stuff below the, the uh, height of the buildings because of like um, draw distance and stuff like that, you know. But now they've worked that out because they they just built on the same uh, the same engine, the same map generally, and fair enough. Yeah, yeah. It, it starts um, off with like a recap of the of the first game, mm. um, and uh, the fir- uh, the first uh, sort of cutscene is a robber going to steal something from a company uh, and uh, you find out you know who exactly who it is hence the title um, and it, it's, yep. ele- it's Electro um, the shocks... lamest Spider-Man villain yep, the main Spider-Man villain in this game is Electro um, he is lame, I do not like Electro I, I don't I, I think he's okay um I don't like him in the Amazing Spider-Man Two. Um, oh no! Oh, I, I, I think not, taking nothing away from Jamie Fox, fantastic actor, um, one of probably the best actors around. But him. Oh, he, and... he did. Uh, he did Electro perfectly fine in um, No Way at Home. Yeah, I think yeah, that one was more with him having the star on the face and stuff like that. It was more sort of like And he wasn't a bright blue weirdo. <laughs> no, and he and he he didn't blow up either, um by being overloaded. Um But um so you you start off um sort of learning the basics again with the tutorial, but this time with no black cat you have Beast from X Men Beast of the because the X Men movie had recently come out. Was it the first film? Yep. So the first film with the X-Men. I think Rogue's, in, Rogue's involved too. Rogue is in uh, the danger room sort of things you can go yeah. and do when you have to do your own practice. Um, it's not essential you go and do it, but uh, it is there if you want to go and look it and check it out. Um, so you go through uh, different things. You can he, he asks you what like the health. Oh, thing unlike is. Um, unlike the first one that was on the Dreamcast and the N sixty four and the PC and the PS one, Enter Electro I and, think was only and, and PS sixty four. Yep, but Enter Enter Electro is only PS one. Yeah, it's exclusive to PS one, um, and 
yeah, it's very very exclusive, um, debatable. You know, uh, where people sort of put it in the um, list of where it goes rank wise. Um, I don't mind it uh, overall. Um, it's it's okay. Uh, I think it's is it shorter than the other one? It's a bit shorter, yeah. Yeah, it feels shorter. So it's you partly it. Spider Man is really only as good as his villains. And they used most of the good villains up last game. So um, this time around, we have a pretty weak loadout. Oh no! Actually, it's not Electro that goes to steal that thing That's... from that place. It's Shocker. Ah, right. It's Shocker. Discount elect. Discount Electro. <laughs> yeah, dis- yeah. He's not. You, 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 obviously, Electro is the main villain, but it's Shocker that goes and and. Uh steals this thing and then spider-man sees this big explosion after uh training with beast um and puts a spider tracer on the bike and then you have to fight off the goons uh when you defeat it shows you like more tutorial like how to like put out the fire in the um with the fire hydrant which if you stand in front of the fire hydrant and put it off it actually throws you back towards the building which is a nice little cool little thing that (laughs) it does um you, you put out the car, and then you fight the last one of the goons in a basketball court, and when you beat them, he does a stupid little quip. Um, Spider-Man 10, nameless thug zero. <laughs> the um, no, notable fact about uh, Shocker, by the way. Mm. Despite his name, he is not electricity-based. He shoots uh, shockwaves. Yeah. But it, it just, just, it always feels weird, like, wait, I got Shocker and Electro? Isn't Shocker just, like, shittier Electro? <laughs> but, yeah. Well, Shocker's, uh, Shocker's dealt with. No, Shocker's not dealt with. He's he's run off. Yeah, yeah he's he run off. Um, you follow him, um, and then I think it then, it goes, like, you go across, well, you go across a bridge when you, when you, when you start to say, when he says the spider trace is growing weak, and you go up to the rooftops, and then you go across a bridge, and he, and, and you hear Spider-Man utter a line, which I don't understand why, and he goes, don't look down, don't look down. You're freaking yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah, I can't imagine Spider-Man being afraid of heights. Well, he literally says it in the game. He goes, "Don't look down." Don't look. I know. You're, you're literally Spider-Man. Your whole IP is swinging from webs through webs across the city at heights of over hundred meters. So, <laughs> game logic. Yep. Um, and I think you then get to like a street sort of level where like you're intertwined with all these buildings you have to start a bomb isn't it as well mm-hmm. and it's just you can't find the goons it's very it's it's a maze basically um it's very hard to find anyone but you just you just have a bomb i mean it, it, it starts off the game really sort of slow and builds up um and then you eventually get onto the level of outside the warehouse where you have to take out the guns um, which is another sort of like short level. I mean, most of these levels are very short, like minutes long. Like you could probably do them in like less than five minutes. Um, there's a lot of splitting up of levels, which can be a blessing, but can also be a um, not a blessing at the same time. Because um, the loading screens are not great. <laughs> loading screens are not great. Uh, no. Um. But there's too much, too much loading. I mean, even mm. the first game didn't have this many. And then I think you get to the warehouse and you fight Shocker. Do you have yep. to? Do you have to rescue the pilot first, or is that later? Uh, you do rescue. I think you rescue the pilot a bit later. It's um, one of the most irritating bits of the game. Yeah, um, but you fight Shocker. Um, it's very. He's very easy. He's not difficult at all. Unlike in like the movie game that we'll talk about on another podcast. Oh god, yeah. I'd say he's a lot better in that, and he's more annoying in Spider-Man Two than he is in One. Um, yeah, because that introduces Ragdoll, which makes him the most frustrating thing to deal with. Yeah, and and in that one, you have Black Cat, who is meant to be helping you, but doesn't do jack shit, um, or, or does jack shit. Um, hmm. So you uh, you fight. You find Shocker. 
and then it introduces uh, the Mafia, the Magia, rather, in, in the Marvel Universe, led by Hammerhead. Yeah. It introduces them in a cutscene. And the this cutscene is basically... Have you ever seen a movie called The Untouchables? Rings a bell, but I haven't seen it. It's it's a scene from that. It's uh, it's like in that movie where Al Capone, played by Robert De Niro, has all the gang guy, all the mafia guys at the table, and he gives this thing about teamwork, and then uh, one guy who's been like screwing over the the business, he beats to death with a baseball bat. No, I haven't seen it. I, I highly recommend Untouchables. By the way, for anyone who hasn't seen it, it's fantastic. But Robert, it, it, Robert De Niro, he played the dad in Matilda, didn't he? No, that was Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito, okay. Robert De Niro played. Um, I don't know if you if if you would have seen anything with Robert De Niro in it. Probably not. He was in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein as the creature. No, I haven't seen that. Hmm. But no, you you introduced the Hammerhead. Um, one well he and Hammerhead. To my knowledge, it's only in one other game, apart from this, yep. which is, sh which is Shattered Dimensions. Dimensions in the noir universe, which is probably a much better fitting for his kind of style of um, character work, which is more this mafia kind of a style, which mm. suits him better in the 1930s, where he's this like you know, man, this big hunk of a man with two Tommy guns in both hands, and he's he people are terrified of him. Um, same with Vulture as well. Vulture is a much different character in the Noir series as well. Oh yeah, and also Green Goblin but as that's, well. All three that's, of them. That, that's another game. That's a game later. That's a game that, later. That, that, <laughs> is, that is another game. But in this game, uh, Hammerhead is a more uh, a more kind of like clown, I'd say. Yeah. Um, probably is the right description. He he just rams you with his head like the Rhino would. Yeah, but he but you he can't get stuck in walls. But that that boss is later on. But you you have to um. You next is Sandman. Oh yeah, um, you, you know, you, well, it's the it's nope. the it's the um it's the train yard, isn't it? What yeah, you know, you we we fight Sandman, we fight Sandman at the train yard, and then we fight Hammerhead. Sandman is one of the more high profile villains to fe feature in this game. Yeah. He's one of the more interesting boss fights too, because you drip. You're fighting him, and you like get water on him from the from the water spouts. Well, that's the second fight. The first fight is when you have to chase the train. Uh, and he's uh, he's after you. And yeah, he has yeah. sand guys you fight. Yeah, so so you have to fight him as you're chasing the train. He puts up walls of um, walls of sand to block you, um, mm -hmm. and then you meet the beetle in the train. The beetle, though, the beetle you never actually get to fight. Yeah, he's cutscene exclusive. Yeah, he just is, shows up, taunts you, and leaves. Which is a, a review a review I watched on all the on all the games um, before we did this. Um, actually, said like he was disappointed the fact that he didn't get to fight him, and he's more a boss in uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, yes, he is. Is another, which is another game we're going to touch on, but. Um, but in this game, he's he's cut like Merrick said. He's a cut cutscene exclusive. Um, and what's after that? After you do that level, then you fight. Um, I think then is the lizard. No, no, no. It's not. Like, you know what? It's really hard to remember the order. I think after that is where you have to go. To the, is it the party? Yes, it's the party that the lizard's attacking. No, it, no the hammerhead's attacking. Um, oh, Hammer, yeah! Hammerhead attacks the party. You you fight him. You you rescue all the hostages. You res you fight Hammerhead. Um, Spiderman does probably one of the, the best lines in the game. It's when you're fighting at the top of the Empire State Building, um, and he goes out. He you jump out the way. He he, he charges through the window. And he goes, "I can see my house from here." Um, one of the best lines of, in, in the game for me. Um, which right, which um. Hammerhead had all the jokes that's in this game that the characters don't actually have a reply to. Um, the enemies don't. Like, they, they, they don't respond in any way, which in the later games they do respond in, in some way that they like, they respond to your bad jokes. Um, no one is as funny 
to de- to deal with is Venom in this one. <laughs> There's no equivalent for Venom's uh, witticisms because he is as witty, if not more witty, than Spider-Man. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, he, oh, he, Venom's not in this game. Um, nope, of course not. Uh, I don't. I think it's safe to say that I don't like Venom being overused. Um, True. No, me neither. He, he is very overused. I mean, he he's yeah. a very overused character. In actual fact, the symbiotes are actually more used in Spider-Man games than any other kind of like story element that you might mm-hmm. going. So like, because right like, off the top of my head, Spider-Man One, Web of Shadows, Spider-Man Three, Sp- um, Sp- Spider-Man, um, Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man, uh, Shadow Dimensions as well. A few levels of Shadow Dimensions, yeah. And, and uh, friend or foe, friend or foe, qu- and also um, uh, well, a symbiote is used in Amazing Spider-Man Two, that being Carnage. Um, yes, but it's the only one. But it, it's the other symbiote. But um, yeah, so the the Venom kind of story or the symbiote story is used. Oh yeah, also more. um, Edge of Time. I've not played Edge of Time properly. Uh, Anti Venom is in it. Anti Venom. Hmm. Long story, two thousand nine comics, not worth getting into right now. No, no, no. So, um, you you rest, you you're there. Um, you stop Hammerhead, and then what's the level after that? Uh, I think then it's the lizard. Yeah, then you have to go to Doctor Connors. Um, you help Doctor Connors by injecting him with things and. He turns back. He tells you about the doctor. You go to her lab on the other side of the. Fight. But you do actually. But you do actually have to fight uh, the lizard. Yeah, you have to fight the lizard, but you don't want to fight him. Um, Which it's. I'm glad we actually got to fight because I did fully model the lizard for the last game and didn't really do anything with him. Yeah, he was more kind of like shown off in the first game. He wasn't really like you. Know, you didn't fight him. You just spoke to him briefly. Um, but, um, so you, you fight him in this, uh, he changes back, he tells you about the Doctor, you go across to her lab, then you've got the lab levels where you've got the robots that are flying that destroy the boilers at the start. Uh, annoying. So annoying. many levels of this are freaking timed and, it, and it's off. Yeah, it, they, they are they are annoying. Um, and then um, you find that the Doctor is like at the... Um, in the last sort of few levels of the game, um, we have skipped o- skipped over some levels, like the one with the plane. That's one of the most annoying uh, we, ones. Yeah, we mentioned the plane. That was way at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. it's rushing towards the, the the closed door of the hangar, and you have to stop it before it blows up and kills everybody. Well, it's just the pilot. Um, that, yeah. But so um, just very briefly touching on that, um, and then you. Uh, it's basic where... that that. The the plane section is the equivalent of the venom chase from the last game, in <laughs> levels of irritation, but it, and but... your and number of times you re you reload the level. Well, that's why if you play it on emulators, there's the power of save states. Um, yes, but this but I learned the hard way with some of this stuff that the save state can fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can you can screw yourself over with the save state if you're not careful. Uh, what's also, point? I'd like to warn people playing on emulate on emulators that overuse of the save state can crash your game. Your, can can crash you. I've not had a crash really. Uh, maybe a, maybe a few times, but I tend to do, also do a hard save as well. Um, mm. But, um, but uh, then you, yeah, you mean, fight the Sandman. You fight the Sandman again with the water. Fight the Sandman again with um, ch- turning up the pressure. Um, mm. He then buggles off. He's very easy to fight. I think when I did, when I had to redo my my videos about three times um i did it the same way every single time i managed to get him into a position where one of the water spouts just happened to land on this area of the floor so it instantly wetted him and i was just able to completely d- drain his health bar without any effort um also speaking of them um, save states if you save at the wrong time in the plane level what's probably more annoying the bit where it's just about to blow up or as you're hitting that rock that you got into in the mummy I think they're very close contenders. <laughs> I think the rock, the rock, because the log level is longer than the plane section. 
I think you actually had a safe state right at the um, rock bit, wasn't it? <laughs> yep. Yes, I did. And you you couldn't turn in time. <laughs> nope. Do, do, do you know what the worst safe state I've done before it when I've had a playthrough? I've safe what? stated accidentally as I've fucking fallen down something and going to die. And I can't... Oof. I can't save myself because I'm already past the point of no return. Oh, uh, you know what my worst save state was? What? I can't remember the game, but I'd already gotten through the really, really, really tough bit. And I had save state. I was going, okay, right, I'm not doing that again, save state. But I hit sa uh, load state instead. That was on the mummy, wasn't it? I think it may have been. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get oh, no. All right. <laughs> Oh no, no! <laughs> I, I, it was just your just reaction. like yeah. just like in Scott. Like if you ever seen the movie that movie Scott Pilgrim, um, that guy on base, that's Todd. I know, you know. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so you um... and then final boss. Well, so, sort of final boss. You find a lecturer on the roof. Well, no. Before that, you've got the level with the um, the statues that come alive. Yeah, the, got, the electrified statues. Yeah, then you've got the most frustrating bit in the entire game. We have to crawl up the fucking wall with electro raining down electricity that, if it hits you, can knock you all the way to the floor. Yep. It's, um, you remember the sniper, the, the building with the snipers shooting yep. at you from the first yep. game? It's that, but more annoying. Yeah, and you, there is possible, there are signs going up here where if you get knocked down, you can land on them. There's bones you can also land on, but some of the TVs you can't land on, like you can't crawl on top of them. So, but what, and also, there's also electric rings as well going around that go off every so often that you have to go crawl up through. And then you yeah. fight Electro in the planet room once you, um, once you get up the top. Uh, he's really easy. I just kept them. Um, Yo, Electro, Electro's a chump. He is a wuss. He is so easy to take out. Unfortunately, once you take him out, he like gets struck by lightning and becomes like super Electro. Well, he he puts the jewel in his device on yeah. his chest. But when you when you fight him first, he you I just impact webbed him the entire time. That's mm -hmm. all I was doing. Um, and uh, and then you because this this game was actually changed because the final boss was actually meant to take place on the top of the two of the twin towers in New York. Yeah, but and then because of certain historical a certain, events, certain event called nine eleven, they had to change it to a different uh, thing. They had to change the. It, I mean, I understand that people would get maybe offended by that, but. Um, there are. It's like um in in uh in GTA three there was also yeah. a mission that was cut where you actually had to fly a plane into a building. And yeah. They cut that out because of obvious reasons, um which I understand and I don't blame them for doing it. I don't think they were wrong for doing it. Uh, I don't. I understand why they would do it on Spider Man. Um, we all know what happened that day. Um. Yeah. It's cementing everyone's memories, and I can't believe it. I think, what is it, like, 12 years, 22 years this year? Yep. 22 years since that day. And I remember where I was that day, exactly where I was. Um, still with my parents. Um, um, and, uh, yeah, so tragic day. Um, obviously, even now, you've got to... Um, realize that that was uh, a day of uh, absolute torment for America as a whole, but also it touched everyone across the whole world, I think. Um, and it was just a awful situation. And, yeah. um, our hearts go out to those uh, victims and to the families um, and to also the brave police officers and firemen who lost their lives as well, trying to save people. Um, but there's also a nice little, touching on that just as a nice note there was actually two men from that event that saved over 50 people and they both died in the in the collapse of the um, north tower and they didn't they didn't leave they they they're actually featured it's like one was called Frank and his friend and they just they stayed and saved people from trap elevators trap rooms everything and you've got to you've got to hold your hat out to them 
with was like that is a brave brave thing to do and they it actually is touching to hear about that when the fact they rather of died themselves than not rescue it's not people. Uh, it's actually not the only change um from the 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 just to, to spider-man stuff uh caused by 9 11. what else was changed um, in the, the, you remember the the trade the or, what, the original trailer the first teaser for the movie was a was a car in a spider web between strung between the two towers. Yes, yes. And that's never shown in the movie for obvious reasons. Yeah, no, no, no. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that bit. Oh, it, it, it's, but it's a deleted then, scene. Then you fight, you fight Super Electro. He is this game's attempt at replicating Monster Ock, and good God, is he an utter failure of replicating Monster Ock? Yeah, he he basically you can't hurt him. Um, you have to make him hit the pylons in order for them to react mm. with him to make him vulnerable. But you also have to destroy the two the um, number of generators on the tower to stop him from recharging. Um, and in this game, obviously, Spider-Man has battle damage, which suddenly appears from him climbing up, fighting Electro once, and then going up on top of the... Well, he is hit, he is hit, I think, by lightning, as he's like, he goes up the air and then falls back down. Um, but yeah, this is a poor attempt. Um, yeah. And then you beat, you beat Electro, and then it's like um, the final... Oh, I think your, your special uh, webbing now is ice webbing. So they're ice webbing or lightning webbing. You have some ridiculous replacement for fire webbing. Yeah, it's ice webbing and electric webbing, yeah. It's freaking stupid. <laughs> but, so, you, the final cutscene is showing these guys in their own jail cell, and then you've got Doc Hawk banging his head on the bars. Still, the, still, still banging still his, head his head on, on the, the bars. Bar. So this must have taken place mere months after the first game. Mm. Or maybe even weeks. Um, a Spider-Man, a Spider-Man's work is never done. Um, nope. But overall, um, best part for you? Uh the lizard, I think. Um, I think um, the lizard fight was pretty cool. What's my What's my favorite bit? Um, can't really decide, really. I th yeah, if I had to choose, I think maybe the lizard as well. Um, Worst is the plane. Worst for me is the is the uh, climbing up the wall in the um, in the museum with follow mm. electro for me. Um, that's the worst one for me. Uh, I just think it's just. I mean, the... yeah, this game this game is not as good as as the first one at all. It's not as the the levels aren't as memorable. It's not as fun to play. The villains are nowhere near on the level. It's just meh. Yeah, the the game like so, um before we end this video um and uh, technically this has a technically a third game uh, with Ultimate Spider Man, which we'll talk about next week. But there's one there. I I'd like to share my ideal Spider Man like. Uh, third installment of this series if you're open cool. because notably none of these games had flying had flying bosses if you remember mm -hmm. none of them flew sort of electro but n like not that much he kind of hovers yeah it's hovers but he's not like in the air so i would suggest a uh, a third game be called Spider-Man 3 Rise of the Goblin. Where your final boss would be the Green Goblin. And your other bosses would include Vulture, Hobgoblin possibly, Craven, and Morbius. I think Hobgoblin may be too, too many goblins in one. I think maybe... Oh, oh not, not Hobgoblin, but you know who's... Um, you know who's out there, but hasn't... Who's still out there. <laughs> Was introduced in this game, but hasn't done anything. Beetle. Beetle. Yeah. Bring I mean, in Beetle. He is it. He you do. He does get that moment in Ultimate Spider-Man, but mm. not as much as people might think. 
Um, and uh, also, we could even bring in the Kingpin. The ki- yeah, the Kingpin as well. That's also. I mean, he he's been featured in quite a few games and even been teased in Punisher. Um, if you yeah, but he's at... only you've only been, like gotten to fight him in two games. Yeah, I mean the thing is, I mean if you look at Punisher for example, and in the end of the way that game ends, that literally sets up for a, another game. Well, yeah, it was go. They, they had they were going to do the Daredevil game. Daredevil. That's what they were setting up, but they didn't get to do it. Oh, it got cancelled. Why? I I don't know. Same reason that the really cool looking Highlander game got cancelled. The same reason that the really cool Dirty Harry looking looking Dirty Harry game got cancelled. The same reason the Snake Plissken game, which would have been made exclusively for me, because Snake Plissken's my one of my favorite characters of all time. I love Escape from New York. That game got cancelled. There's so many like really cool looking games. The Flash game that we're gonna do. They yeah. just keep canceling these, but oh no, Da Vinci Code gets to fucking exist. <laughs> but that's the whole. Die Hard Dekatomi Plaza gets to fucking exist. Okay, at the very least, the idea of Die Hard having a game makes sense. The the like the 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 groups of people who like Die Hard, the groups of people who like video games, you can see crossover there. I can't see people liking both Da Vinci Code and video games. It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> so, out of ten, what would you rate Spider-Man uh, and Electro? A lot of cool things, like the like the Lizard boss was fun. The Sandman boss was fun. I can't deny it objectively looks better than the first one. The graphics are improved, and the the custom costume thing is, and there are more costumes. But I don't know. This is a like five point five for me. This is. It's not great. It's I not saw, the worst. It's not great. It's not. It's not below five. I would say, but I think it's probably a six, maybe, maybe a seven. Being generous, I mean, it, it's a shame. I mean, they, the problem they... when I let's play it, when I played it, I played it right after the first game, and it's not as good. <laughs> you go. I think you go into the game expecting something. I mean, when I whenever I think about Intro Electro, I'm always excited to play it, but then when I play it, I'm just like, oh. It's just the first game, like came right swinging right out of the gate. Rhino, Mysterio, Electro, Venom, um, Carnage, Scorpion. This one, Shocker, Electro, Sandman, Lizard, and Hammerhead. And Beta in a cutscene. Yeah, but he's not a boss fight. I know, but he he's the boss fight. Of the game. He's he's a boss that the boss that the game. Potentially teases, but then fucks you over yeah. by saying, "See you later, spider jerk." Yeah, that's why he should have been in the third one. He he's he's a really he's a really poor version of Iron Man. Yeah, Be- Beetle is very much that. Yeah, um, but overall, I think the game um, it holds up. I think as a duo, I think it they both go together well. Um, uh, the graphics are the same. It's it's sort of like uh, the same sort of. Um, cockiness of Spider-Man, the silly quips that he does. Um, it, it, it's a good, you know, just. Um, over- oh my! I just, I, I just uh, quickly looked up uh, Electro. I forgot how ugly Electro looks. How bad his mask looks in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's but- just it was. Well, it didn't have the same. It didn't do enough that was new and different. No, it didn't. It didn't do enough. Um, I think it, it was just. Um, it, it was just a shame that it, it it didn't live up to what it, it it could have been great. It really could have been really good. I mean, even just like Venom returning in some degree, maybe not as a boss, but maybe like to help you out or something. Like he suddenly like mm. appears or he saves you or something because obviously um, you help him or something because like. He does become like you know a bit of a anti. I mean, I would always say Venom is an anti-hero. I mean, if you've watched the yeah, film, Ven- Venom's been an anti-hero since like the nineties. Uh, yeah, I mean the thing the thing I love about Venom is in the films with Tom Hardy, he very much is like an anti-hero. He's he's not a villain or or a hero. He's very much in between. But he he 
it, the fact that they gave Venom his own film to, to, to shine, I thought was the best thing about the two films. I mean... Oh, by the way, this is... Um, this and the last one were done by Neversoft, who we've actually talked about a very good game from them before. Because like... they're the guys who did Gun. Oh, yeah. I mean, not their best game, but um, it doesn't it doesn't make them... It doesn't... I, I I'd argue that Gun is their best game, actually. Gun, Gun is, is their Gun is their best Gun game. Gun is amazing. Um, Gun is so good. I, I I would I would love that to get a like, release I, of some kind. So many times I will just reinstall Gun and play through Gun, <laughs> just 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 to play it. It's one of my favorite games. Yeah, it's one of my favorite. It's games. become one of my favorite games. Um, it's. Uh, I just wish they had you had more to do in the world, uh, but the world's very small. That's the problem with Gun. The world is very small. The map is very small. Um, and it, it works. Um, I feel to because uh, you 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 can always find where you're going. Yeah, yeah, no, you you, yeah, you, you can. I mean, it, it obviously by the time you get if you get like the um the gun at the end and uh, Reed's horse, you can't use it to do anything. Um, yeah, it's, that's that's a, that is. True. True. Which is just a shame. Um, but I, anyway, I, next week we'll be looking at Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, Ultimate so, Spider-Man uh, is next. Until um, then, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I've been Classic Gamer. And I've been Merrick Demano. And thank you very much Ciao. for watching and listening. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.